Now that we have learned about observability, let's see that what types of telemetry data we collect in an observability platform. To remember these data types, you can think of the word melt. M is for metric, E is for event, L is for log, and T is for trace. What's an event? Event is an action that happened at a given time. If you think of a vending machine as your system, a customer purchasing a bag of chips at 3.20 p.m. is an event because it has an action which is the purchasing of the chips and a timestamp that is 3.20 p.m. For your information, events can normally be found in event streaming platforms such as Apache Kafka because microservices use events to communicate with each other. However, you can also explicitly generate events for the observability platform. And events basically validate that an expected action has happened. So we said that an event in a vending machine shows that somebody purchased a bag of chips, but it doesn't show that how many bags of chips were purchased within a minute. And that is when and where the metrics come into play. So a metric is an aggregated value representing events in a period of time. Thinking of the vending machine, we can say, for example, 100 bags of chips were purchased in every minute. Metrics are great for comparing the performance of the system with a similar time. For example, we can say that today we sold 100 bags of chips every minute. Last week we sold 200 bags of chips every minute. So in this case, we see a decline in sales and then we will see why there has been a decline in sales. So what are logs? A log is a very detailed representation of an event. For example, again, if you think of the vending machine, an example of a log is like a bag of chips with the price of $2 was purchased at 3.20 p.m. and the vending machine ID was X and the location was, for example, Sydney and the payment method was a MasterCard. So as you can see, there is a lot more information in a log compared to an event. So what are traces? In a microservices based system, a request has to go through many microservices to fulfill a purpose. And a trace shows the interaction of those microservices. For example, if a customer purchases a bag of chips using a credit card, the credit card information has to be given to the vending machine. The vending machine sends it to the bank. The bank sends it to, for example, MasterCard, sends the response back to the vending machine, and then vending machine dispenses the bag of chips. And as you can see, any of these interactions can fail. So traces shows us exactly where the request has gone through and then where it may have failed.